Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week of August the 15th to the 27th, 2016. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos on YouTube with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person in the universe. But if you would like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I invite and welcome you to go to my private website. There I'll get back to you as soon as I can to give you an appointment for your private reading. I wish to thank all the new people that have requested private readings from me to my circle and blessings to all my return clients. We start our week, Virgo, on Monday with a major card and you, my friend, have been given the strength card. This is all about you needing to know that you're stronger than you really believe you are and that you are capable of handling any of these issues coming on your path this week. Uh, dig deep for your inner strength. If you're having to step up on your platform and voice uh, your opinion and defend yourself, please stand up there, but look at it with more compassion, more, more uh, kindness and uh, with forgiveness. Release any harsh judgments that you've had before you step up there on that platform. Tuesday, you've been given a fire card. Ten of fire. Fire cards have to do with uh, setting our creative juices into motion. And it can have to do with a little bit of risk taking and adventure, but mainly self-development. They're showing you that there's a lot of work going on around you and a lot of multitasking, uh, too much work actually, that they're saying you need to accept the help from others around you, allocate some of those jobs to other people. They're there. They All you have to do is ask and they'll step up. Uh, because if you don't, this can um, this can create st stress related uh, health issues and uh, and concerns. On Wednesday, crowning your week, you've been given an air card, five of air. Air cards have to do with the injustice in our lives and how we deal with that, and the people that bring that into our lives. It can also have to do with legal issues, anything as simple as uh, a parking ticket or perhaps a disbursement of properties, real estate, and or matrimonial. Uh, it covers all the bases when it comes to legal issues. So some of you may be dealing with those particular types of situations this week. Uh, it shows me that there is a choice that you need to make right now, but they're referring to it as an unwise choice because you need to learn everything you can from this situation and review everyone's motives before you make this decision <clears throat> and this choice. On Thursday, you've been given a major card, the Emperor. And the Empress is all about being, uh, all about uh, the hard work that you've been doing. It's about lavish abundance and reaping the benefits of everything and all your hard work that you've been doing right now. It's now uh, giving you the ability to give birth to your dreams uh, and fruition there. You need to nurture yourself as well as the ones that you're nurturing because you are the Empress, you're the ultimate mother and you're wanting to always nurture other people. Um, this is telling me that you need to enjoy your life around you and know that you deserve all the good that is coming into you on your path right now, here and now. It's also the card of excellent emotional and physical health. On Friday, you've been given a water card, the relationship card, two of water. And this is telling me that there is a relationship some of you are in, and it doesn't necessarily have to be romantic, uh, but that it is growing closer. And the word they use is forgiveness. So obviously that word has been very important in this relationship, and it will be the positive resolution to the conflict that has occurred in this relationship. Forgiveness, my friend. Earth card, major card, or material card, and it may be a major card to you this week, page of birth. This is telling me, and it will be, it's good news to do with financial matters. So it is a major card. So my guides must have said this is what's very important and what you've been thinking about is finances. So it is a good card about financial news coming into you. Uh, it shows me, though, that some of you are wanting to do something more challenging in your life. at your place of employment and in your profession, and that some of you actually will pursue that and take a new area of study. On Sunday, the end of the week, you've been given another relationship card, a water card, night of water. Shows me that some of you are falling in love and actually receiving a wedding proposal. Uh, there is a definite need to balance your emotions right now. This is a major, major step in your life, so please do that. And it 
also tells me those that are not receiving that invitation to walk down the matrimonial aisle, that you will be receiving an invitation to go to that type of an event. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card from the Ascended Masters deck. And they gave you this, my friend. Let it go. So that's pretty self-explanatory. That can have to do with situations. That can have to do with emotions within yourself. That can have to do with people around you. So whatever that refers to in your personal life as an individual, please know now is the time to walk away from it and let it go, my friend. I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to, uh, Virgo. And again, I leave you with another quote. The quote I have for you today is, Happiness is a choice, not a result. Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will come to you, will not come to you. Your happiness will only come from you. See you again next week, my friend, and know that I continue to stand in the circle of light for you, Virgo.